What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write quadratic functions in standard form when you're given x-intercepts, all right? So here it just says, write a quadratic function in standard form whose graph satisfies the given conditions. And it gives us a couple x-intercepts right here, negative three and positive five, right? And just to remind you, standard form is this function right here. So it's just f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So we want our answer in this form right here. Now, since it gives us the x-intercepts, we can use intercept form of a quadratic in order to write our first function, okay? And remember, intercept form is this function right here. So it's f of x is equal to a times x minus p times x minus q, okay? a right here is just a number. It's just a coefficient. It can be any number, positive or negative. But then the two main things you want to look at are p and q, okay, because p and q are your x-intercepts, right? So then we're going to have f of x is equal to, and for a, you can plug in any number, and I recommend using 1, because whenever you multiply by 1, it doesn't change anything, right? So that's why we're going to plug in a 1 for a, and then in parentheses, we're going to have x, and then we're going to plug in our x-intercepts. So we have a minus 3 and a positive 5, okay? But when you plug it into your parentheses, you want to put the opposite sign, okay? So since here we have a negative 3, here we're going to write that as positive 3, okay? And then for our other set of parentheses over here, we're going to have x, and then here we have a positive 5, so here we're going to write it as a minus 5, okay? That's the only trick with writing these in intercept form. You just want to make sure you flip the signs from what your x-intercepts are, okay? So then uh, simplifying this, this is going to be equal to 1. And then here we just have a binomial times a binomial, right? So in order to multiply these two together, you just need to remember the FOIL method, which stands for first, outer, inner, last. Okay, and in case you don't remember the FOIL method or how to multiply these together, I'll link that in the card above, okay? First, we're going to multiply first, then outer, and then inner, and then last. Okay, so then in parentheses here, we're going to have x squared minus 5x plus 3x minus 15. Okay, now here we can combine like terms, right? So we have a minus 5x plus 3x, so that's equal to negative 2x or minus 2x. So then this is all equal to 1 times x squared minus 2x minus 15, all right? And now we just have 1 times all this crap over here, but remember... When you multiply by 1, nothing changes, right? So our final answer right here is f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 15. All right, so there's your function in standard form. All right, let's try one more here where it's going to be a little bit trickier. So here we have x-intercepts at 0 and positive 8. Okay, so again, we can use the intercept form function right here. So again, f of x is equal to a times x minus p, x minus q. Okay, so then filling this out, again, we're going to have f of x is equal to a, and again, we're going to plug in a 1 for a, and then we're going to multiply by x minus p. So again, these are our x-intercepts, right? 0 and 8. So we're going to have x uh, here. 0 is not positive or negative, so you can write minus or plus 0. I'll just put minus 0. And then we have a positive 8, right? So we're going to have x minus 8. Okay, now remember, whenever you multiply by 1 over here, it's not going to change anything over here, right? So we can actually just drop this already. So then this is going to be equal to, just in parentheses, x minus 0 times x minus 8, okay? Now here, x minus 0, this is just equal to x, okay? Because when you subtract 0 or add 0, it doesn't change your value, right? This is just still going to stay as x. So whenever you have an x-intercept at 0, which you'll probably see often, your uh, parenthesis over here is going to simplify down to just x, okay? And then we're still multiplying by our other one over here, right? x minus 8, okay? So then to simplify this, we just need to multiply these together. So uh, x times x, that's equal to x squared. And then x times negative 8, or minus 8, is equal to negative 8x, right? So then we have f of x is equal to x squared minus 8x, right? So there's your function, again, in standard form. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.